This is how you work with rulers and guides in Adobe Illustrator. So a lot of times, you know, the human eye doesn't exactly do us justice. So we'll look at things and they may not be exactly aligned how we want them. They may not be in the proper location. So what we want to do is on a Mac, you can either hit Command R or on a Windows computer Control R and you can bring up your ruler. And you'll notice that when you do that, and I'll turn it off and on. To turn it off and on, you simply hit the same key button. So Command R or Control R and you'll notice that it toggles it off and on. And a ruler is exactly what you think. There's nothing fancy behind it, but it essentially matches up different points on your window so that you can measure things out appropriately. So right now this is set to points. So one of the things you can do is if you wanted to change this to, let's say, a different type of measurement, picas, inches, millimeters, centimeters, pixels, uh, whatever is more convenient for you, you can right click in the very upper left corner or control click and this will bring down the option for selecting the measurement type. So let's go with inches. So we'll note that this is an eight and a half. You'll notice this, it starts zero at the left corner, zero at the top. And if we go across, you'll notice that it's eight and a half. And if we scroll down here to the bottom, you'll notice that it's 11 inches. Now, you might say, okay, that's great, but how in the world am I gonna actually see this measurement? If I have artwork here, I'm not gonna go up to the top or all the way over to the right. So what you can do is you can actually click in the ruler area and you can drag this down and it will place a guide on your board. So let's say we wanted a guide at two inches. Go to the two inch mark, dragging it down. And let's say we wanted one over at four inches. Go to the four inch mark and drag it out. And this center point is right where your two by four is. So now you know if you had a shape, let's get our rectangle tool and we wanted to make it exactly at two by four, we can click our cursor on that point, drag it out, and let's add a fill to that so it's not blank. And you'll notice that this is at the two by four area with your rulers and your guides. Now, there also is an option. If you were to go to your view menu, and you go down, you'll notice that you have the guides option and you can hide the guides, lock the guides, or make guides. Now when you make the guides, it's essentially what we just did by dragging them out. When you lock them, that means they cannot be moved. So if I were to grab this right now, I can move this guide again anywhere, which sometimes you may select something and you may not want to move that. It might happen by accident. So if you were to go back there, and you were to lock your guides, if you were to try and click it now, nothing's gonna happen, it's not gonna move. So we're gonna actually go back, we're gonna unlock that. If we go back into the view menu, you'll notice that there's something called smart guides. And if it's off, if you were to drag this close to this point, this rectangle, click it, drag it, you'll notice that getting it aligned is kinda difficult. It might take some time. But if you were to go to view, smart guides, as soon as you click this, you'll notice as you get closer, it will actually snap to the intersection of that point. You can also finally go to Illustrator, and go to preferences, and you go to guides and grid. You can go to smart guides. And in these, you'll notice that you also have the units option. When you click these, you can change what the points are by default that you'll use on strokes, the typeface, or just in general on like your rulers, your guides and grid. You can actually click that menu option. And when you go in here, you'll notice you can change the actual color of the guides themselves. Like if we wanted all our new guides to be magenta, they'll come up like that. We can change the style from lines to actual dots. If 
we have a grid, we can customize the grid to be a different color. And we can change that style on the grid from lines to dots. And click OK. And you'll notice, if we zoom in, now our guides are magenta and they're dotted. And that's how you work with rulers and guides in Adobe Illustrator.